I'm Jeff Mello, Chief Yeast Wrangler at Bootleg Biology. Bootleg Biology is an open source yeast project whose goal is to build the most diverse library of brewing microbes. All those microbes we're sourcing from wild sources, so backyards across America, honey, fruit, anywhere we can find it, we want it. Uh, and part of that mission is teaching everyone uh, entry level lab techniques, things that anyone can do to isolate their own pure yeast strain to brew with. So, We've created the Backyard Yeast Wrangling Toolkit. This has everything you need to capture yeast, create auger plates, and isolate it to make that pure wild yeast strain. All right, everything you see here is in the Backyard Yeast Wrangling Toolkit. So you start with, uh, everything is inside a half gallon mason jar. Um, we also have um, cheesecloth, sterile cotton tip swabs, uh, you can use swabs for um, capturing yeast off a of large fruit, um, also for transferring yeast. Um, additionally, centrifuge tubes, which is a great way to capture yeast if you have small fruit. You can also store your yeast um, for long-term periods. Um, pipettes is a good way to uh, aseptically transfer yeast um, from a tube um, to a different location. Um, it's a good way to grab yeast from areas that are hard to reach. <laughs> this is the Bootleg Biology Special Wild Yeast Agar Blend. You're going to boil that with some water. You'll pour it into sterile petri dishes. Then you're going to wrap that with some parafilm to seal it. You're going to use those three things to isolate the yeast. Addition here is a paper clip. You're going to streak yeast onto the agar plates and then you'll get a colony that you can isolate. Additionally, there's some fermetric stickers, which are a great way to track your fermentation. And then additionally, a bootleg biology contributor pack. So once you've gone through the process of isolating yeast, put a sample in the letter, send it off to us, and we'll add it to the yeast bank. All right, so we're gonna make agar plates. So we've boiled the wild yeast agar mix with 200 milliliters of water. And that'll be enough to fill up the tin auger plates um, that you see here. So before it sets, you have to pour these, otherwise you'll have to reboil this again. So just pour enough to cover the bottom. And you might have some leftover, that's okay. Just pour everything enough, evenly distribute it across all the plates. And then you should need to let it cool in a draft-free area so you can put that in a closet, a box, um, anywhere where air isn't going to contaminate this auger because it's a, it's a rich resource for anything to grow on. So you want it to grow yeast instead of mold. So let it cool, let it set before you put the lids on. Then once you're done, you're going to incubate the plates. So you've let the plates cool and now they've set. Um, they're going to be solid like gelatin. So at this point, you just need to put the lids back on and then wrap them in the parafilm. You're going to stick them in the fridge and turn them upside down. And then you'll take them out when you're ready to use them. So with the parafilm, find the side of the plate, hold on one end, and just start stretching. Stretch the plate until you've covered all of the edges. You're not going to let any more air in. It's not going to dry out. Um, it's pretty much sealed from any contaminants. So when you're done, put these upside down, put them in a resealable plastic bag, stick them in the refrigerator until you're ready to use them. So we're ready to streak plates. Get one of your auger plates out of your refrigerator, remove the parafilm, make sure you're working in a giraffe-free area with a heat source. Um, I'm using this small portable burner, but at home you can use a gas range. So the entire time you want to make sure you're not touching the plates with anything but the paper clip. 
So you need to start off by sterilizing the paper clip under the flame. Make sure it gets red hot. You don't want anything on here alive. Let it cool down for a moment. Then dip it into your yeast source. So here's the wild yeast starter jar. And then you're going to make three streaks on one side of the plate. Now you need to sterilize the paper clip again. The goal here is to thin out what you've already put on the plate. Grab the very end of the three streaks and streak it three more times. And then repeat it again. Keep on streaking until you've done this four times and you've covered each side of the plate. Turn it upside down, put it in a warm, dark place, and let it incubate for a few days or maybe even a week. All right, so you've streaked your plate. Now it's time to isolate your yeast. Here's a plate that's been incubated for a week or two. You can see that the colonies are uniform looking. They're white, um, they're round, um, they're not raised too much. This is pretty much going to be brewer's yeast. Um, if you find that your plate is not uniform, and that's very likely, you're going to take the steps that we're about to do and then just repeat them on a plate. You'll keep on streaking until you've got a uniform plate like we have here, and that increases the chance of having a pure strain. So start off, sterilize your paper clip, get it nice and red and hot. You've killed anything that's on it. Let it cool for a moment. If you get antsy and you don't let it cool, you're going to end up just killing your yeast. So find a, a colony that's by itself, that's not touching anything else, and then just take just a little bit. Really just the small amount that fits on this paper clip is all you need. Get a vial, it's in the kit, fill it with low gravity wart, 1010, 1020 is all you need. This is going to be your super tiny yeast starter. Take the end of the paper clip, dump it in the tube, shake it around. Just make sure you get it off the end. Seal it up, shake it up. So once you put the colony of yeast in your tube, seal it up, and then you just need to incubate it as you would any other starter few days, shake it up, add it to another starter. I usually go from about 10 mils to 100 to 1,000. Just build it up gradually using low gravity wart, 10, 10, 10, 20. You're good to go.